What's going on, everybody? So here we are giving my first impressions of Guild versus Guild. I'm going to go through and read all the rules because I'm still a little confused on what's going on um, on who like I can attack or, or who I should attack, um, how we win. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Obviously, um, our Guild uh, Ward kind of started a little while ago, so some people have already attacked. and. It looks like we've already won, I guess. Um, I'm not quite sure, um, but I'm going to go ahead and read through the rules here and see what is going on. So let's go through here. When the event starts, three guild versus guild comp competitions will be held every week, lasting 48 hours each. We've already registered for that. Um, we already read the registration rules, so that's not something that we need to you know, kind of think about too much. Defensive team rules. Each competition, three defensive lineups are required. Sure, heroes deployed in the defensive lineup competition can be used in other modes. Okay, that's actually pretty important. I actually, if that was not the case, I would have been pretty screwed. <laughs> During the registration stage, players can adjust their defensive lineup. Match breaking stage, players cannot adjust. Cool. Um, got it. Uh, I guess if you want to adjust your defensive lineup, it can only take effect on the next match. Match figure rules, you know, okay, looks like match with a suitable guild, that's fine. All right, so here we go. Offensive and victory rules. Players must spend one offense in order to attack defenders. These are these little tickets up here. Um, and let me just keep going. Players cannot attack the same target more than once in the same competition. At the end of the offense stage of each competition, if the battle points earned by the attacking guild reach the specified value, the attacking guild wins. Okay, um, that's weird. That's actually really weird. Um, so I guess we've already won, right? I guess we've already won. <laughs> um, that's, uh, that's pretty simplistic, guys. Uh, there isn't really much to say about that. Pretty, pretty easy stuff, I guess. Uh, my, my guild, I'm in Dan's guild, so, uh, you know, we're all pretty competent and try hard so it is what it is <laughs> reward rules when a player attacks a defending opponent in a competition their rewards will be based on the result of the battle in the galactic rank arena rank of the defender the higher the defender's galactic arena rank the greater the rewards okay when a guild wins a competition as the attacker rewards you issue to all members who launched an attack when the guild loses the competition etc okay so that's all great. It looks like, based on what I'm seeing down here, you have these little banners. So this is very similar to how Summoner's Wars Guild versus Guild worked from what I remember way back when. If you notice that the orange banner has 400, blue banner has 200, and the light blue banner has 100, I am assuming that you go through here and these little dots indicated how many times someone has been attacked. And as soon as you've attacked three times, that banner goes down. For example, if I were to attack this person one more time, they would go down to one banner with three dots on it. So that means that everyone should be attacked at least three times, if possible. Um, considering the fact that we have, what is this? Four, um, three, that's seven, that's 10, that's 13. That's uh, 16, that puts us at 19, 22, 25, 28, 30. So we have a 30 defensive walls here. And if each player has three battles, we should be able to crush this pretty easily. Now, I'm not quite sure if that's the case. Let me click on one of these battles and see what's going on. Perhaps this just means that, um, I guess we'll, we'll try it out and see if I'm, if I'm correct in my hypothesis here. And I would like to try to fight someone who's a little bit stronger, who has a big blue banner available. Here's a good team. Let's see what we got going on here. So we have a Leo sort of random Gautier team. We have some sort of Northion comp here. We have some sort of Summoner comp here. I think we could pretty easily be able to deal with this. I have, four, I have basically formulated a bunch of new teams. I've also gone through and upgraded all my commanders. I have an assassin based team here with um, Gabal and Leo kind of tanking everything. I have a summoner based comp here to kind of counter the Leos of the world and um, just deal with the vanguards. And then I also have a Northion just absolute destruction comp. So I think what we do here is I actually go through and I think I run assassins against, hmm. Hmm. I don't wanna run assassins against summoners. I think that's a bad idea. 
The question is, I, I know, I know, Northam will absolutely crush this. This is no question. I have no problems with this. This is easy peasy. Okay. This comp, I'm pretty confident in as well. I just have a question about this comp. I think I'm gonna try it and see how it goes. I think we'll just go for it um, and see how the uh, the guild lineup goes. I'm gonna shrink myself down to here so you guys can see the battle a little bit easier. And it looks like we can't even skip it anyways. I'm really not worried about this fight. This is literally going to end as soon as Northion gets his ultimate. Um, and this is also why I have Rez in here. Rez, our Northion ults come in, smack. Rez gives him another ult. And battle's over. <laughs> That's pretty much how it always goes, right? Northion's super good against summoners. Um, actually gets extra damage against summoners. So very, very good character there. Um, here comes the summons. Summon comp. This one I'm not too worried about either. Summoners are very, very good against Leo. Um, reducing the healing effectiveness and more particularly on Pooh actually goes ahead and stuns him as well as Daniel does so as long as we're able to get one good stun and deal with Leo the battle should be a complete wrap and just as I said complete wrap no problems here so it looks like we are going to win this attacking stage I'm just curious if we're going to be able to win all three battles um and let's see here here comes the third one this is the one I had a question about um usually the assassins are pretty good the only question is can you deal with Northion before he gets the ultimate off because if he gets the ultimate off usually what happens is he just one shots your assassins and that is very very possible but looks like we ended up totally fine here so pretty good first battle easy very very easy very nice. So here we go. So it looks like, oh, I see how the dots work now. Because I won all three battles, I removed three dots from them. That's my guess. I've earned 600 points. I won all three battles. So I'm actually getting 120 diamonds because I fought someone with the higher galactic arena rank. Um, these two look like the strongest. So I'm actually gonna go back up here and fight these guys because they give me more diamonds. Now I could go down here and deal with the ones that give me more points. Like these blue banners give me more points, right? I got 200 per, so I was absolutely correct. Um, if you deal with uh, ones with the higher banners, as you can see in the bottom left corner, um, you're gonna get more points. So ideally in terms of guild points, I should get, uh, or I should fight the uh, blue banners. Um, but I think it doesn't matter too much since we already won. Since we already won, I'm gonna go for the people with the highest points uh, or highest Galactic Arena rank so that I could potentially get more diamonds. Um, although, if these battles are quite hard, I'll get less diamonds if I lose any. So I have to consider that as well. So down here, we have some sort of tank slash Northion comp. Uh, we have an Bailey Vanguard type comp. And then the top one, we have um, Rez, Anpu, and Summoners. So I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna go for it. Um, I, I think that my North Hill should be able to crush this. That's my guess. For this one, I think the Summoner should be okay to go here. And then this is the only one I'm consideration in consideration. I think the Assassin should just be able to bypass the tanks and then I can kill off Luke and Mizrani and then deal with Northian. I think I should be fine. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna risk it. Um, you know, I haven't done a lot of Galactic Arena recently. I kind of just run in there and do my auto thing. So I'm, I'm curious to try out something a little bit new. Ooh, okay. Northion did get us uh, get up his lightning shield. That's the real big question. If Northion dies before his lightning shield is up, then you have a problem. But as soon as his lightning shield is up, it shouldn't be too big of an issue here. Um, ooh, come on, Bada, give him a full heal. There we go. So we got a full heal from Bada. Um, now we just need an ultimate. We need one ultimate off from Northion. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna immune that Anpu. So boom, there goes Anpu. All right, great. So we win this first battle. I had a feeling. I mean, Northian is just so good against summoners. We only lost Crete, um, so I'm very, very happy about that. Really, no issues whatsoever. Here we go. Summoners are next uh, versus the vanguards, and this is a little concerning one. Leo can do some nasty things. Um, once we get the ultimates going, though, I think we should be okay. I do want to deal with uh, Bailey if I can. Bailey did get stunned. There goes Na Fang. Here comes Crete. Um, and I think Crete should just get one shot here. Yeah, there goes Crete. Very good start here. Here comes Leo, though. Leo is the big concern. Um, if we're able to deal with Leo, boom. Okay, we got Leo out. Very good. This is a wrap then. Um, there goes Bailey. And last thing is Serena. Again, summon our, summoners are very good against vanguards. Same reason. You can reduce the healing. You can When they charge in, they get smacked by all the damage dealing. Uh, summons that explode. And here is the big question. Can we deal with this comp? Northion is a scary beast. Do not underestimate Northion, guys. Um, if there's one thing that you should... Uh, watch out for it is Northion 1000% right here Northion could one-shot my entire team 
looks like it was pretty close but Rickert does survive that is one thing um nice about this is that even if let's say Northian did come in to one shot everyone um Rickert will basically always survive because he has the sword souls and look at that triple win against um this guy here and look at that we got an extra 300 points for our guild so that looks like to be how guild versus guild ends up working out um we did win our two battles i'll go ahead and try to find out one more battle here so we can just have some fun um here we go we have some sort of res comp here um with leo i think our summoner should be able to deal with that we have an assassin comp at the top with northion that's interesting i th i'm gonna go ahead and fight their assassins with my assassins um because i have a better cabal um, and then I'm going to go ahead and fight their summoners with my Northion. And then I'm going to go ahead and fight their vanguards with my summoners. And we're going to go for it. I'm just the out comps, right? I think it's pretty fun. I haven't really used the assassin comp all that much. So I think it's pretty cool to just use, um, you know, all these different people for the first time. Wow. My assassin comp absolutely annihilated theirs. It wasn't even close. Wow. <laughs> um, pretty good. Pretty good. I have no worries about this one. Pretty much, um, it can get a little worrisome if Anpu lands a couple good stuns, but realistically, like, I really don't, I'm not usually too worried about this. Rez is just such a beast with Noratheon. I mean, it is just such a powerful one-two punch in every single area of the, every area of the game. These two, Rez plus Noratheon, just absolutely decimate. I mean, look at the damage Noratheon has done. He's about to smack for another 2 million or so. Boom, 19 million damage. Not even another person even touched it. Granted, I have no other damage to this really, but um, here comes the, the summoners. This one could get a little dicey sometimes, but I, I really don't have any um, worries about it so far. Um, I think that we should be totally fine. Also, their res uh, is boosting their nothing, which is pretty bad, to be honest. I'm not a huge fan of that. Usually, if you're going to have res, you're going to kind of want to have it work with Leo. But there goes Leo. Once Leo's down, the battle is pretty much over, to be honest. Um, the, the question is, can you deal with Leo? And if you can, you should be totally fine. Ravenna's last, and it should be easy peasy. So there we go. Three wins, and we win all three, nine battles. No problems. And we also fought the hardest people, the two hardest, and then we fought the third hardest, right? Um, these, like, top, these players are all, I guess this is technically the third hardest, but it was already defeated. So we pretty much killed as many people as we possibly could. No issues whatsoever. And pretty fun, guys. Um... It's Galactic Arena. <laughs> That's it. That's all it is, really. Um, but you get better rewards for it, which I'm all for. Right? I got 300 diamonds. I got actually 420 diamonds. And then we're going to win. So I'm curious on what our rewards will be. Um, where's our rewards? Where are the rewards? Hello? um i'm not quite sure what the rewards are i don't know where to look for it let me see here is there a, i mean it doesn't show on the rankings i'm not quite sure i'm not quite sure on this one let me see if i could pull up the patch notes here and see if i could find um some sort of i don't remember if it was in the patch notes let's see here Okay, reward rules. Nope, doesn't really say. Let me know if anyone else can find like a, a like a information tool or tooltip in game. I, I clicked on this one, but it doesn't really say down here. It doesn't give me like an actual image or anything, but I believe it's like a couple few diamonds, uh, a couple hundred diamonds, some talent points and some red runes, if I'm not mistaken, um, which is very, very good. Honestly, I had fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy being competitive in terms of like trying to dominate other guilds. So, you know, being in a, a guild with a lot of other people who are trying hard is very, very fun to me. And I think a lot of people are going to be super engaged in this game mode. Um, again, if you guys are curious, Looks like you have to win as many battles as possible. Each battle is going to give you the diamond amount here. You're going to want to fight the ones with the orange banners first. It's going to give you more points. Then you're going to fight the blue banners next, uh, ideally, if you haven't won already. But it looks like even if you, you know, don't care, like as long as you reach the 50,400 points, you automatically win. So after that point, you can kind of just do whatever you want and fight the ones with the highest diamond amounts is what I did. Um, it looks like that's going to be the way to go. 
So pretty fun, guys, and hope you guys are enjoying the game mode. I know some of you don't even have a guild, but I definitely recommend you get in a guild. If we're going to do this every two days, this is basically like another 500 diamonds or 250 diamonds every day. And if you're assuming you win, that could be a lot of extra diamonds. Even if you don't even win, you could get a lot of extra diamonds just by attacking and uh, losing. You could potentially get like 1,500 diamonds every single guild versus guild, uh, assuming that it ends every two days, and then you get the winning rewards. And then who knows what the weekly rankings are going to look like. So this could potentially be a few thousand diamonds a week which is a massive massive boon for those of you that are interested in pushing a little bit harder um by the way guys i'm gonna have a video coming out soon on my twilight lands push i ended up just setting aside some time last night and this morning i'm already on 15-7 so we're doing quite well this is like the day after it came out um so i'm gonna be able to beat it this time and as i said to other people previously it really all it takes is a little bit of manualing time and once you do the manual, then you're totally fine. In terms of rankings, I'm actually on rank 15. I was I didn't have enough time last night to actually go through and get top 10 to be able to beat it in one go, um, but I'll be able to beat it today, most likely, potentially tomorrow, um, if I have some more time. But pretty cool, guys. I'm, I'm pretty excited, and I hope you guys are having some fun. I really enjoy Twilight Lands. I'm really enjoying the guild boss, or guild versus guild. I think all of it's pretty engaging. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, and I'll see you all for the next one.